We obey the laws. They're intangible, invisible walls. You're free as long as you go 10 meter this way, right 2 meter, left this one, that way, that way. Any other way, you hit your set to the wall, to this invisible wall, and you die. You want to get a car in the West, there's so much to go through. So much you have to do. You see? In the Baha'i faith, the laws are made to make you independent. God doesn't want you to obey Him. So He needs that obedience. He's not around. Among us, anyways. Their messengers and their prophet were not interested in ruling the mankind. All of it is to become independent. We're depending on smoking, on drinking, on so many things. But if it is all made that you make you independent. So this obedience ends to independence. Obedience to these laws are making the people either very dependent, cowards, because they have kids, they have children, they have to just shut up and say nothing. Or they can get absorbed by the system, they get rejected, then they turn into ISIS, looking for a opportunity, lurking, to see what he can do to bring the system down. Okay? There is dictatorship and the Baha'i faith too. Without dictatorship, it's impossible to have a system. Shogafen says, Baha'i system, it is democracy, but it is dictatorship. It is even aristocracy. It is even theocracy. All of them. All the above. So can we live without dictations? No. It's impossible. So what do we do? Let a dictator come in? Baha'u'llah says no. So how does the dictatorship in the Baha'i faith work? You are the dictator of yourself. That's what it is. Baha'u'llah does not create a law to tell you you can't smoke. He just tells you not to. First he creates a relationship with you. Once you start to know him, you love him. You know who he is. You're his son, you're his child. You know that. So based on the relationship that you have with him and his educations, then you lose all your dependencies. But who's telling you not to smoke? Yourself. Who's telling you not to drink? Yourself. Who's telling you to do good things? Yourself. In the Baha'i faith, there is no one individual dictator. No policing. You are your own police. Well, that's not the case with this system that we have. So, when you look at the laws of Baha'u'llah, look at the Kitab Ardas and other, you know, component and complementary tablets. The whole laws can be written in a couple of pages. We don't need that many laws. Because in this system, crime <coughs> stops. How many crimes are committed because of drinking? How many commit is committed because of the greediness, because of the so many bad attributes that we have? All of those things in the system of Baha'u'llah is diminished to a very, very low, dismal point. The assemblies, or even the universal laws of justice, is not really the ruler of mankind. They're the organizers of the effort of mankind. Why? Because our effort might clash into each other. Universal laws of justice is sandwiched right there. It says, no. You got to stay on your side. I will organize you. In the past, so many people, let's say, in the philosophy or in science, this guy's, you know, repudiate with other one, that guy rebuke him and calls him names, this and that. The system in the Baha'i Faith created that these things does not happen. 
they run parallel. You have a problem, don't tell him, tell me. Universal laws of justice and the assemblies and all of that are the catalyst. They're there so that things happen. We have to do it. They can't do it. They're not made to rule. They're there to organize, essentially. So, we have very few rules. Not as many. We don't need that many rules. This do's and don't is killing people. How many times can you say do and don't, do and don't? What is then freedom? What freedom do you have when you have to follow so many do's and don't? By the guy standing on the top, he will go one kilometer over the cops and stops you. Your dollar short, your insurance falls down. You can't drive. So many things. How many dictators, how many people we listen to? People, either they become depressed because they feel they have no freedom. Or as I said, they become renegades. They say, hell with this, I'm just going to go and do whatever. Essentially the laws, that we call it laws, I call it bullshit. And it's just made after the fact. They have no idea that, okay, while I'm creating a, a texting system, this will end up, this social media, ends up making people antisocials. This might get into the seclusion of the minds and people not being with each other, they might develop craziness. So, what do we do? They have no discernment that every object invented, it creates a culture. That's how cultures are made. They have no idea. They just wait there till something goes wrong and then they create a law. The laws of God are before the action takes place. It already knows. Association with people as a fundamental, essential tools of becoming a human. Associate. Baha'u'llah says associate with all the people of all religions. Don't say he's not Muslim or this or that. And this is practical way. You can marry them. Husband and wife can fit from religion. Even the child does not need to be a Baha'i to be a child. This is a different concept of a spirituality without it were dead. Either we have to invent it ourselves. Who's gonna listen? Nobody. Then you have to push people to be kind. Well then then they're not kind, they're forced to. In the Baha'i faith. The will of the mankind is designed to thrive, to do good things on his own. So, these differences, I mentioned a few right now, that we have between the laws of God, which I do not mean the laws of Bible, brother, or laws of Muhammad, they're all dead sun, they're all black holes now. Today, the Muhammad and Jesus and Moses and Krishna and Rama, they're all Baha'u'llah and now. This is him, the same people. They were good at their time. Now it is called Baha'i faith. The difference between the laws of Baha'u'llah as opposed to the laws of humanity, if you put them together, the result is Isisism, renegades, chaos. So, the laws that they make, really, is, whether we like it or not, is designed for their slavery. For example, the laws that were in the past, how, how many people could have become as big as Bill Gates or this goof, the boy, owns Facebook? How many of them? Not too many. Today's our laws are designed, the way it is designed, it just goes to this elephantitis. 
suddenly one person becomes so big. You know what elephantitis is, you know, if you go to India, you can see the guy sitting, one of his legs is this big. One part is too big. Gigantism. So all of a sudden we have people, huge, big people, they're becoming big. All of it is designed that few to go on the top and enslave the rest. All of it. Bill Gates is apologizing, but that's not going to help. Completely. He's the guy who keeps the money, makes the money, every day his company, and on the other hand, he gives it to other people. It's like this side, he kills the mother and then gets the child and, you know, parenting the child, but the mother is dead. It's the like government of Canada, you know. First, they kidnap all the native kids. They brought them to the churches, everywhere raped them, changed their language, cut them from their uh, system that they had, natural system. And this is the bad part. And now they apologize and they're giving the money. The native, they found out, what do we do? You know, is this kind? It's crazy. It's not bad. It's like this. So. So here and there, you know, sometimes I'm in Toronto, uh, stupid people, seriously oblivious. One of them was telling me that all oh, this ISIS is all work of Israel. I said, oh, I see. I said, how do you, do, do, do you deducting this? Have you talked to Mossad? Are you working for them? Do you know that they're creating ISIS? Or CIA, you know, have your daddy working there or something? Or there's something in Pentagon that you know of that they're actually nourishing them? No, you know. So you turn deduct it. It says, yeah, because it's beneficial to them. How? What benefit? What benefit the US gets out of this? How could Israel do something like that where the British citizens are joining, creating chaos? So be it.